1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2! And in this episode of our season with Kyle Larson's number 42, Cray 1 Bank Chevrolet, we are going to be completing race 20 of 36, which is going to be at Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. In the last episode, we had ourselves a very dirty and uncivilized race at New Hampshire because apparently that is the only way to succeed on very worn tires. Got ourselves a ninth place finish, so if the top 10 in that race, we get another top 10 in this one today, then I could be satisfied with this weekend just as much as I was last weekend. Same time, was not satisfied with the fact that we finished so badly at Kentucky, and we did win at Daytona. Now, if we get a top 5 in Indianapolis, I can say that I am more satisfied with this weekend in races than last. But, um, the problem with Indianapolis is I have tried so many times racing in this track um, since the debacle in uh, the Xfinity series where I just choked it away and destroyed the freaking car and I kept trying to pass people and there's no room because of the curbs and bouncing off other cars, walls and stuff, everything. Is, there's just no room at this racetrack and I gotta tell you, I am getting lucky if I can somehow manage to pull off a race here without just completely destroying the field within the last few laps of the race, heck even at the beginning of the race. It's a very uncomfortable track to race at in this game. That's not the same kind of problems you get with the other NASCAR games, or for the most part in other NASCAR games, it just seems to be an actual challenging racetrack in terms of AI performance. But Martin Trek Sr. got a DNF yesterday at um, New Hampshire, and he's still in the points lead, though, but he is, I think, nine points in front of Kyle Busch, still in second. Jimmy Johnson is in third, Joey Logano fourth. Matt Kenseth, um, he finished like six positions in front of me, I think, yesterday, and right now he is 21 points in front of me. And I keep trying to get into the top five, and I will eventually if I can keep up this consistency that we got right now. Kevin Harvick, he won the race yesterday, but he is still in seventh place behind me, 28 points back. So I guess he hadn't been being very consistent before that race that he won just yesterday. But um, for all we know, Kevin Harvick could finish in front of me a few more times, and I'll wind up falling back again. But, you know, there's the point standings if you want to look at some of that. And then you got the playoff standings right here. I'm still the driver with the most wins. Uh, Truex, Logano got three, Johnson, Harvick, Keselowski with two, and that was actually Harvick's second win yesterday, of course. Before that, he was probably the best driver with just one win. So, let's go ahead and get to Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The reason why I'm racing the Credit One paint scheme is because, well, it's a special race, even though I disapprove of this race to begin with, and might as well use a special paint scheme. And I just kind of made a last-second decision at the end of the last video. This video is brought to you by Inception because I'm wearing a NASCAR Heat 2 shirt while playing NASCAR Heat 2. Therefore, a video of me playing NASCAR Heat 2 is brought to you by NASCAR Heat 2. It's, it's Inception. It's crazy shit. But let's go out and qualifying. Hopefully, we can get through turns 1 and 3 um, really well and just let off a little bit to handle turns 2 and 4 very well. For the most part, turn 3 is probably my weakest turn on this track, but... Hopefully I'm good right off the bat, I guess. I got a really good run off of turn four, so really hyped to go out here and make the best lap I can. Just get on the brakes a little early for turn one so that we can get a really good run off. And if you go light into the corner, you can have really fast off. And then my car hits the outside wall. I didn't need that. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Okay, I might have left a little too much for turn two. Of course, I did hit the wall, which kind of upset my usual way of going in. So, I'm recording this at daytime because last time I didn't have enough night, uh, enough time to record it at night um, just after the previous race that we had on New Hampshire. I'm also recording this on Memorial Day, by the way. Yeah, I don't have work today, so I could just spend all day recording videos. I'd rather be recording videos regardless of the fact it's more difficult than going to work and doing what I usually do there. Seemed like a decent lap. What do we get? 27. I'll take that. That's in the top 30 on the inside and everything. I think I like this more than starting 20th place at New Hampshire just because New Hampshire, it's on the outside and uh, that track doesn't suit the outside line very much. When I just saw Joey Logano's on the pole, so I could possibly find myself not being the only driver with four wins after this race. Hopefully that's not true. Um, where is Matt Kinsett? Matt Kinsett's going to be starting in 14th. There's Kevin Harvick in 12th. Just looking at our contenders to see how they're going to be doing in this race. Of course, um, there's not that much passing at this track, but knowing AI, they could probably move their way to the field if they have to. <sighs> Let's give it everything we got. Let's try to not make any stupid moves at the beginning of the race. We take our time, because Ali go too hard to do a corner, he touches the bite, everything goes to crap. Gotta worry about them curves and apron and whatever, but going turn one, get underneath Eric Jones. It's 
five lap first stage. Dive underneath the 17 of Ricky Sinhouse and Chris Buescher. I know that they've slowed down a little early for turn two on the restarts and such. And from my experience, I got a lot of practice in quick racing, like I said in the video, right? Oh, okay, we're gonna make a little bit three wide going to turn three. Got to hit the brakes a little early to keep sticking down here, but the car just didn't want to. Um, we're just not gonna have Eric Jones pass us, so it was a good pass for Alan Dean for the most part. I'm trying to stay at the bottom. This car's fighting me. We'll have draft down the stretch. Made a lot of progress in the first lap. My car won't stop zigzagging. By default, the car turns to the right in front stretch of this track. I don't know why it does that, but it's really annoying. Okay, we're not going to make it three wide into turn one. Can't decide whenever I'm going to start turning because I feel like if I start turning at a certain time, it'll hit the, the apron or whatever. But if I don't start turning in time, I'll go hitting into people and getting tight. It's kind of like one or the other. I'm better off getting tight and sliding up into somebody and in turn one than I am touching the apron than making a huge wreck. Got a really big run down the back stretch right here. Also, whenever I hit the brakes, the car turns right. As if it doesn't do that enough on its own before I get to the corner. It's just kind of enhanced whenever I hit the brakes and the car starts turning to the right. It's so weird. He's really starting to space out, which is good. Uh, Almarola is not going anywhere, and I'm trying to get a run on him and pass him. Uh, it's stuck right behind him, to be honest. Like I said, take my time and don't be making a three wide because someone's being difficult with me. We're going to get Trevor Bain going into turn two right here. Almirola, you're going way too slow for me, man. Like, get out of the way. Actually, we'll take a run on the outside of Almirola right here. I'm going to dive underneath McMurray before we get to turn three. And we're going to have some room going to turn three, no worries. Whoa, Ryan Blaney, I think he's trying to block. I mean, I was not nearly enough close enough to make that pass to begin with, but this time by we got two laps to go in the first stage. And things are spread out in the uh, the, the 10s to 20s, I suppose, but up there, the top 10 seems to be all grouped together. Uh, I don't know how many of these guys can be able to get past. But we'll fly past when I'm laying down the front stretch. Lots of momentum. Got a lot of room. I have tracked all to myself after passing him, so we get a really great turn one. Do not want to be on the outside of Casey Kane going to turn two, though. Let off. Die back down to the bottom. Casey Kane is checking up. Oh my god, I dumped Casey Kane. I am such a piece of shit. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. He, I saw him check up, and next thing I know, he's spinning. I wasn't expecting him to start spinning, but I knew I was going to rear end him because he checked up. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake. I don't like making mistakes. It's embarrassing. Why is Kyle Bush spinning? What the hell? Uh, Joey Logano is still in the lead. That ends the first stage, I think it just said a while ago. We finished the first stage in 13th, but uh, no one else is pitting, so I'm not going to. I think that with that in mind, we could find ourselves uh, having to take green flag pit stops if, we're, if we're, we didn't finish the stage in time, because we're probably going to take pit stops if that hadn't ended early. Also, um, I'm starting on the outside of that restart, but I'm just going to put myself right in front of Ryan Blaney, waiting for Kevin Hart to clear me so that we can find ourselves well, at the bottom. I'm sincerely sorry to the Casey Kane. I wasn't expecting him to check up, but I think it's all of me to just ask for him and dump him. At the same time, I don't understand how... I don't feel like I was putting that pressure on the back of his car. Like, were we really that hooked up? I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have to make a three wide going to turn three if we want to get anywhere right now. Let's just stay at the bottom and turn... I'm trying. The car don't want to. I slow down a good bunch, but it just didn't happen. Damn it, Chase Elliott didn't clear me, and now I'm losing a ton of ground. Okay, so now we're three wide. Almendinger's going to check up for me. I got put on the outside because I thought Chase Elliott was clear of me, but no, that's not the case. I don't have a good perspective on things. Uh, throw it into turn one right here. Please stay at the bottom for once, car. Please, please, please. Oh, my God, Jimmy McMurray's front end is all bashed up. Uh, that was my teammate. He won the first stage of the New Hampshire race. This car is getting really tight. It can't handle tire wear. We're in 14th. I mean, we haven't really fallen back that much since the uh, start of the second stage. At the same time, we could be in the top 10 right now if this damn car would turn in turn 3. As well as turn 1. It's got any problems in there as well. Too fast in turn 3 this time, but got time to get back down. This car is just not handling this racetrack on tire wear. 
I mean, I'm slowing down so much more than usual, but it's still, it, it can't hold the bottom long enough for me to not lose the inside off the corner, and whenever that happens, I get stuck on the outside of somebody, and the whole turn four or turn two would be horrible. The turn two, I haven't had to deal with that much, to be honest. Okay, breaking really early. Danica Patrick is just going to thread them. Oh my god, Danica Patrick, you are a fucking goddess. That was beautiful. That is... She never did something that awesome in her entire fucking career, like I'm just saying. And now, I'm trying to get back around her. But, damn. She threaded the needle into turn one at Indianapolis and made it work. Uh, what if racing helped me? I, I'm, I, I don't understand this game anymore. That, that's a very unrealistic. She, she would not do that. Danica Patrick can't do that. She's physically incapable for uh, reasons unknown. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're having green flag pit stops. I never bothered looking at it, but uh, three laps on fuel. Uh, right side tires are freaking dead. I have noticed that. Daniel Patrick is starting to hold me up. I'm sorry to notice. I just hold the brakes. Get a good entry to turn one. I can't pass Daniel Patrick. This, this is annoying. I'm trying to make the pass so freaking hard that instead I'm getting passed instead. Trevor Bain, you fucking moron. And you're getting... Everybody wrecked my race car because of Trevor Bain. But, uh, that's going to end stage too early. Would you all stop crashing into me, please? Trevor Bain got underneath me, and then he wanted to pinch me into Danica Patrick. Man, that's nothing, that ain't nothing to do with me. But, uh, we're finally going to take our first pit stop of the race, so... Yeah, no green flag pit stops. Those aren't possible. Uh, two cans of fuel, four tires. We'll repair that damage because that will affect me if I don't fix it. I'm going to drop the front tire pressures down a bit because this car does not want to turn going into the corners. We lost one position. So, I guess that means someone behind us... It might have been Kyle Busch because Kyle Busch, he did pit um, under that first caution. So, at the beginning of the final stage, I'm assuming Joel got no one in the, uh, the second stage as well because we ain't got that much passing here. At least for the AI themselves take advantage of me and whenever they get the opportunity they also crashing into me and shit. Almost didn't take in the opportunity to uh, go past some Daniel Suarez pushing these guys on the track because my car can't turn off the two. Okay, get some momentum car. Let's get past Suarez. We're keeping it right around the top 15 area so that's good. I'm gonna focus on my entry to turn three and turn one from this point on because it's really dragging me down at this point, especially on tire wear. But right now we got the fresh tires so shouldn't be too difficult for me. All that matters is I keep the bottom just a little bit. Um, not so much uh, being that fast in the corners because once you come off the corner, you go down a stretch, you get a lot of momentum going. Okay, here we go. No, Kurt Busch, you don't. Oh my god, Kevin Harvick is losing momentum in the middle lane. That's a bad place for that to happen. I'm working on it. Oh wow, I'm barely touching that apron. Not much, but I was. I don't have to make any overly aggressive moves. I want to make it into this race if that's possible, to be honest. Uh, I'm opting out of making it three wide right here. And Kirk Bush is flying around me on the outside. Maybe I should have tried making it three wide. I don't know anymore. Wow, Kizilowski pulls up right in front. We're going to bump into Kirk Bush. I'm trying to make up some positions here now, to be honest. Kirk Bush has got to run on the outside. And Waiting to get clear of Brad Kozlowski. Basically, just trade positions. Come on, move it, JC. Run Kurt Busch up the freaking track. Kozlowski's still right behind me. Working on it. If I just take a good corner, we can get a run down the front stretch or the back stretch, whatever. Uh, I need to get runs off these corners apparently because we're racing the leaders and they're obviously being more aggressive than everybody was at the back. Come on, you turn three. Fucking that apron a little bit. Oh, rubbing against Joey Lagan a little bit, but we're in the top ten. And we're flying past a bunch of cars because it's everybody on the outside. Now I got people all in the inside lane, and the thing is, we can get a run on somebody down this stretch. Chase Elliott's trying to protect his position in a very aggressive fashion, but yeah, I know what I'm doing here. Okay, turn one, just breaks a little bit to the bottom. I lose a little grip. Here comes Kurt Busch behind me. No, you don't. Damn it, Kurt Busch. God fucking damn it. That was my fault. 
Oh, you get, you get your nose underneath me and then we're all fucked. I'm salty. It could have been worse. It really could have been worse. But the damn car didn't want to finish the pass on Chase Elliott and Kirk Bush got a massive run on me because it was better entry to the corner. I am driving off the freaking track and not paying attention apparently. And now I'm back in the top 15 again and that's it. Chase Elliott has fallen back a ton since the start of this race. We've still got a lot of time left. This guy's going down pit road. That is Casey Kane. Uh, I mean, I did like kill Casey Kane earlier on accident. So, um, maybe that's why. I don't know. They're all running single file right now. So I get on someone's inside, it's easy to pass them because we ain't going three wide all the freaking time. But we still got time to make a good finish out of this race. Damn, stupid fucking apron in this trashy ass game. Ah, uh, same goes for that bullcrap other gamer playing in NASCAR today, Tony with them aprons. And NASCAR 06, and NASCAR 07, and NASCAR Evolution, all them freaking aprons, man. You can't just touch it like a real race car driver and damn thing don't get offended. We're in 10th place, I didn't pass anybody. I mean, I passed Casey Kane a while ago, but that gave us uh, 12th place. What the? Oh, oh, ah, uh, Truex had to go down pit road, so he... He assaulted everybody. This is getting scary, man. Okay, well, we, we just gained a bunch of positions because of that. I don't know if I have to take another pit stop. I don't think I do, because we took our pit stop at the end of stage two, and it took us to our final laps of the race. Let me see. Estimated fuel, four laps. And we have 18, 19, 20, 21. So, it's a... It's a it would be a bit of a, a gamble if I want to win this race without taking another pit stop. I mean, it said four laps, and we had three and a half laps to go now that I think about it, so I think we'd make it to the end. I was going to say four because we're on lap 18, but that's not the case. Whoa, Matt Kinjit, please don't do what Kurt Busch did to me. Golly. I mean, he gets a run, but at the same time, I'm working on passing Kozlowski. Just focus on turn one. Keep to the bottom. Stay in the draft. And you can't make any slip up racing these guys, to be honest. Whoever's in the lead right now has probably just got this all locked up because he wasn't involved in Truex's uh, the Holocaust of a situation in our pit road. Okay, we gotta run down the back stretch with Ryan Newman in second place. That's cool. Wow, he had the outside, he gets all loose in there. He knew I'm waiting to make a pass. I'm, Golly, it takes a whole freaking lap just to pass somebody at this track with these AI. That is not the case online. You gotta need somebody, they have to give it to you because they, they can't compete with that uh, being out of the groove. Ryan Newman, will you just side a line so that one of us can just not be side by side anymore? Like, uh. Oh, loose into turn one. I've been trying to pass Brad Kozlowski for two laps now. Maybe three laps, I don't know. Would you fuck off? You're really starting to kill my nerves. I got Newman's draft now. He's choosing that middle lane down the stretch, so maybe. And now I got Matt Kinsey behind me. I got the low fuel thingy. I think we can make it to the end. I think we can. Winning this race is out of the question because Truex separated the leader from the rest of the pack. Like I said just a while ago. But the best we can get is second place, and that's what I'm aiming for. But considering the difficulty it, it, it was for me to get past Keselowski, I don't know. It's like two races ago, we were having a race just like this at Daytona, except that was for the win. Um, now let's just see if I can make the end of the race. I think we should be just fine. Ugh. Oh my god. Yes, I know. I just hope we can make it in turn four. I mean, all these guys, all these guys around us, they made it. They're not pitting right now. I mean, what if the leader and Ryan Newman go down pit road and I decide to pit because I have a brain? That'd be beautiful. Please tell me that's about to happen. <laughs> please, please. I, I want that. I need it for my ego. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just, uh, I'm just dreaming right now. Ugh, come on, car. Well, let's start to make it to the end on field. But I couldn't get around Ryan Newman. It's just, uh, took too much. But we get third place, so this weekend did indeed turn out better than the last one did. And we actually made it on field. We never ran out down the stretch either. Oh, man. That is one intense track right there. Like, I don't like racing at this track, but 
that that provided a very intense race with us running slow on fuel. Dale Earnhardt Jr. won this race. That is his second win of the season. I couldn't tell who it was all along because he was so freaking far away. Uh, to be honest, him getting any wins in the season and you know being up here in the top ten in points and all that crap is just so weird because in 2017 that did not happen at all. But uh, Joey Logano won the first stage, finished in 11th. Uh, Martin Trex Jr. got it two DNFs in a row. So, Kyle McIsaac like, Games has got to be very disappointed with the uh, content right here. Kyle Busch finished in 23rd, so I don't know whether or not that's going to be enough to put him in the points lead. For all we know, someone behind him could have been doing so well that they're in the points lead now. Uh, so, we know who won the first stage and the second stage. I need to see where Kevin Harvick finished. Casey Kane, the guy that I don't finish in 39, so I regret that. Matt Kenseth only finished one position behind me, and Kevin Harvick finished in like 7th or whatever. Okay, we got the post-race information right here. Fastest lap was set by me, 49.85. I mean, I guess it kind of shows that I was fast out there by finishing third. Joey Logano led the most laps, and that was six laps, so we had many different leaders in this race. I was on the move. I started 27th and finished in third, so, yeah, I can understand that. And tough break, of course, goes to Truex, start fourth and finished all the way in last. Next weekend, I'm going to attempt to redeem myself at Pocono Raceway whenever we go to the Pennsylvania 400, the second Pocono race, race 21 of 36. And we're going to be using the Credit One Bank Paint Scheme again, back to back, just because apparently this car is giving me some really good luck. I thought it was bad luck at Atlanta, but no, I raced this car in this video and wear this kiss-ass t-shirt for the video game and pleading to the 704 Games gods, and we get a third place finish. Um, granted, it was probably cheese with all them stupid nonsense people heading down pit road and Truex breaking down and then holocausting the hell out of the freaking pack, but I don't know. Holocausting is a verb now, apparently. Uh, also next week we have Watkins Glen, the I Love New York 355 at the Glen, and that's the race 22 of 36, the road course, so I can set my hopes high for that one. With all them checking up in the S section uphill uh, at the beginning of the track, I think it's possible for us to go out there and win that. I don't remember how he did in the Xfinity Series race at Watkins Glen, to be honest. But I have to go looking back on it after I'm done recording this video. But uh, hopefully next weekend we get a top five at Pocono as redemption and a win at Watkins Glen. Uh, I kind of wouldn't accept anything less. Jimmy Johnson is our new points leader. I wouldn't have expected that just considering Kyle Busch finished in front of Truex with the DNF. But I guess Jimmy Johnson finished way ahead of both of them. So that really shuffled things up quite a bit. But because Dale Earnhardt Jr. got his second win, I was correct on that, uh, we're still the driver with the most wins this season, still. And uh, you can look at all this stuff. I said still twice in the same sentence. I'm so out of it right now, huh? And then you got the playoff settings, which really clear things up in terms of wins. We have so many people with two wins right now. I mean, yes, we should see Ryan Blaney and Casey Kane be winning a couple races soon. I don't know. As long as Matt Kenseth ain't going to win races and... Kyle Busch ain't going to win the races. I like Matt Kenseth, but I don't want to see all these guys who are ahead of me in the championship you know, winning races. That's just how I feel. I mean, right now, I think there's only like four of the drivers in front of me who have actually won races during this season, right? But uh, I'll see you guys next time whenever we go to Pocono next weekend. That's that, and episode over.